2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Waste Management Phoenix Open is about to kick off. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. I'm Luke Elvey, here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, it's the final round in this one. What's our next player dealing with as they start their round? Well, they start off with a very small lead, and so they're going to be cognizant of that. There's not a lot of room for error, but in saying that, they do have the lead, so they can't afford to make a mistake somewhere along the line if it should happen to come up. But in saying that, they just don't want to make any mistakes. It's going to be a difficult day all around. Can't wait to get into the action. Very excited to see how this player fares today. Well, you love this player. Why wouldn't you wait to see how this player plays? You, just, you have a poster of this player at home, don't you? A two. Okay. They have absolutely flushed that one. Colin Morikawa, he was meant to be the original and best approach player, but I think we have a new sheriff in town. Looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. Around 110 yards to go. special this putt's about four feet from the hole this is their look at birdie Ooh, a couple of birdies on the bounce look who's on a roll two in a row there luke getting their groove on he's currently sitting in first place now on the tee, fresh off a birdie, a great opportunity to build on that momentum. Good shot there, Beamer. Playing from around 240 yards. Opting for the hybrid, I think. All right, going with a little bit more club. Let's see. Oh, I like the courage here, Rich, getting after this par five in two. As they should. What a play. Hopefully they'll be rewarded for that play. They're a long way from the hole here. Work to be done. Well, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. Just a four-footer remaining. Yeah, they're good momentum makers, those ones. Good putt for birdie. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. to have opted for the eight iron. Yeah, that'll work. That's fine. A look here to get to 18 under the card with this putt.
It's up, it could be in. Well, that's an early statement right there. Game face on early here, Luke. Now four shots up after that hole. Time to face a par four now. Standing up over this one after a bunch of birdies. I tell you what, they're set up quite nicely through the first opening holes. Birdies galore. Feeling strong, going for less club. Lovely effort, that. Okay, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? Yeah, they've left it in the perfect spot here, just below the hole. They can be aggressive up the hill. He's on a good line. And this one is for his par. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par. Chance to pipe one up the middle. Well, this should find the short grass. And Henny, what's he facing with this one? Setting up here from about 145 yards. Has got this thing dialed in here, looking good. That's a great shot into booty range here at the sixth. Got to like their chances from there. This putt right on 10 feet, a good one to make. Rolling end over end. This putt's looking great. That will drop and it will extend the lead. Leading by five shots after that. Deep into the front nine. Here we are at the seventh hole. Going with the five iron here. We've run some good iron players in my day, but you're right up there. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. And that part will give them birdie number six on the day. Kind of like it. Two in a row. Still in the lead now after that hole. This hole is a par four, and it's a pretty lengthy one at that. That dog will hunt. Lining up from around 160 yards. Game with the nine iron, I think. Well played, mate. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? It's 13 feet out. Unlucky for some. It's tracking. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Time to step on your tee shot here at this long par four. Left nothing in the tank on that one. That was pummeled. And he's down there. Setting up from about 130 yards out.
and choosing the eight iron here. Uh, it might be one club too many. Outstanding approach shot. Looks like a pretty straightforward five footer to me. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. Lovely position for our leader here, Rich. Out in front, but a few holes to go. Well, after nine, so far so good. It's great to see these two players stepping up, getting the best out of the games. It'll be interesting to see exactly who's going to be ahead at the end of the tournament. Yeah, that one will play. Second shot here on the 10th hole. A wonderful shot and a chance for birdie here on the 10th. And just about eight feet left to the hole. He's staring down a birdie putt here. Looks good. Beautiful shot. Leading by eight strokes now after that hole. Next up is this two-shot hole. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? He's got, mm, I'd say, a solid 145 here. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the booty range, but you never know. Hole a long one. Still counts. This one's for birdie. This one's online. Oh, so close. Three feet to go here to the hole. In the end, that will be a disappointing par after such a great approach shot. Now teeing off on the 12th hole. Wow, what a shot. Very good look at Birdie here. Well, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Well, 13th, it's unlucky for some, Rich. Wow, I didn't even know they had this power. Great drive. Playing from around 230 yards. <laughs> Going with the hybrid. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. And he's down there. You got a read? Yeah, guys, he's looking at around 17 feet. That was a shot and a half. So close to the eagle. And they'll tap this in for birdie. Some momentum being built now. That's back-to-back -back birdies. Gotta like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. What a drive. Look at that.
Second shot here on the 14th. Going with the pitching wedge here. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. Ooh. That one had eyes for the flag the whole way. A wonderful shot into 14. It sets up another look at birdie. And finishing this hole with a little tap in. Now eight shots in front. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. That tee shot looks pretty good. Well, I don't know about you, Rich, but I love this 15th hole at TPC at Scottsdale. Everyone's already focused on getting into the stadium hole. But this one here, wow, what a shot you got in front of you. I'm laying up eight days a week and hitting wedge in there close for my third, Luke. No chance I'm taking on this second shot. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one. The perfect leave. Uphill can be firm. OK, steady now. A chance for a birdie if this goes down. Our leader really starting to gap the field now. Their advantage is nine shots. Three holes remaining, Luke. This is getting awfully fun. And now striding onto the tee of this par three hole. should find the surface. Here's another opportunity for the crowd to go berserk. What a shot. And a fantastic look upcoming. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. The lead continues to grow. This is simply amazing. And after a bird at the last, they'll take the honor on the hole. If you're going to take out a driver, be mindful. The fairway does canter from right to left, so the golf ball could kick in that water hazard. Bailing out to the right, there's no shame in that. You always have an opportunity to get it up and down for the birdie. Well, I like the look of the line here. It should find the fairway. Oh, it's been putting on a clinic all day. Another beauty by our leader. Not backing down one iota there. Luke, love the aggressive play. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Well, they'll be looking to use that momentum they generated on the last with an eagle. This one looks to be heading down the runway. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? And from about 105 yards. Well, that was fantastic. What a shot from the leader. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. And this is why they put in hours and hours of practice. A putt to win it all. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. Ooh. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Well done to this player who was able to tame TPC Scottsdale and walk away with the WM Open victory. And an impressive victory it was there, Luke, in front of 125,000 fans on this Sunday. That was impressive. Well, Rich, after that hot start, it's probably little surprise that this player powered through to victory. 
This player absolutely dominated all week long, all tournament long. Great job. You don't see this happen very often. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Helvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.